and welcome to this edition of North Penn News. I'm Zach Arsalan. And I'm Alexa Duffy. In our first story, North Penn High School is in the giving spirit this holiday season. North Penn News reporter Lauren Schwartz has more. The students and staff of North Penn High School have been in the giving spirit this holiday season. The North Penn High School Key Club is once again sponsoring the annual Marine Corps Toys for Tots toy drive since November. Marine Corps Representative Howard Quinn stopped by the school to pick up the latest donations from the generous MPHS community. This program is important because it takes uh, brand new toys and gives them to the less fortunate. So this way they feel like they're having a Christmas just like everybody else. The Toys for Tots toy drive runs through Tuesday, December 16th. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Lauren Schwartz. North Penn High School Thespian Troop traveled to the state conference this past weekend. North Penn High School Thespian Troop 5464 had an extremely successful weekend at the 2014 Pennsylvania State Thespian Conference. During the conference, North Penn raised over $2,000 for BCFA with a silent auction of Broadway memorabilia and selling of other BCEFA products. The students also impressed the conference with a performance of their fall show, Once in a Lifetime. Throughout the weekend, students had the opportunity to watch other schools' shows, participate in educational theatrical workshops, and showcase their talents in a variety of competitions. Individual event contestant Julia Chip and trio Victoria Finley, Jamie Devine, and Natalie Clauser were selected to compete at the International Thespian Conference with their musical numbers, and Melissa Fuhr won one of three $1,000 scholarships offered to scholarship auditioners with her monologue. Jackson Simpson was named part of the Performance Hall of Fame, while Rebecca Smith was named part of the Technical Hall of Fame. Junior Mary Beth Bloomer was elected onto the PA Thespian State Board, and the troop as a whole was given the honor of being named a Gold Award Honor Troop for their work on stage and in the community. Congrats to Thespian Troop 5464 on a fantastic weekend. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Alexa Duffy. The Delaware Valley Council has named two North Penn representatives as finalists. Radmila Rashid and Stephen Thornton were commended for their exemplary scores on two highly competitive exams. They will now participate in the final round of the competition, which consists of a series of interviews. Good luck to both students during the remainder of the contest. The North Penn High School boys and girls basketball teams began their seasons with a fun community event. North Penn News reporter Alexa Duffy has the story. The North Penn High School boys and girls basketball teams held their first annual Midnight Madness event to fundraise for their teams and get fans excited for the upcoming season. The night started off with special guest Dr. Dietrich showing off his impressive basketball skills. Well, I was just pleased to have the opportunity as the superintendent of schools to come out tonight and to support both the boys and the girls team. I uh, never got a chance to play a lot of basketball when I was in high school because of my commitment to uh, growing up on a farm and working on the farm, but I always wanted to be a basketball player, so I got a chance now at 55 years old to get out there and uh, try the dunking thing, and thankfully they gave me a shorter or smaller rim to dunk on, but it was a lot of fun. The night also featured a girls versus boys game where the boys team took a close victory, a half-court contest for the fans, and a dunking contest where Joey Richards made the winning dunk. <laughs> Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Alexa Duffy. All members of the North Penn community are invited to give back this season by donating blood. The North Penn High School Key Club is sponsoring a community blood drive on Thursday, December 18th from 3 to 8 p.m. To register, email Linda Law at the email on your screen or go online to redcrossblood.org and select North Penn. Keeping a, keeping a holiday tradition alive, Lansdale held its 64th annual Mardi Gras Parade featuring many North Penn representatives. The North Penn Marching Knights, Knight Riders, basketball and football teams, cheerleaders, and the North Penn Alumni Association greeted an eager crowd. Mascots from elementary schools and middle schools high-fived the spectators throughout the parade. For more information on the Alumni Association, visit npaaa.org. Kindergarten students at Montgomery Elementary created surprise gift packages for a fellow classmate's dad who is serving in Kuwait. Soldiers are nice. Good. 
My name is Christina Glonner. I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Montgomery Elementary. And um, today we put together packages for soldiers. Um, one of our kindergarten students, Nelson, his dad's away. And um, on Veterans Day, we talked about what a veteran is. And we decided to put something together for his father. So the children um, donated food items. We packed them away for them today. We also did projects and crafts. We did an American flag with their handprints. Um, and the kids really had, they learned a lot um, about what a veteran is and um, have a good understanding of their dedication and what they're doing for us. Soldiers are brave. Excellent. Soldiers are strong. Soldiers are strong. Good job. What's interesting is they came up with some really good adjectives all on their own. They knew what the word brave means. Um, they used words like dedicated, which was very impressive, helpful, um, kind, and strong. Those were the ones that we used most often. But they knew those all on their own. They did not need to be taught. They really had a good understanding of that. Where will you be in 50 years? Will the North Penn High School class of 1964 return to their alma mater for a tour before their 50th reunion? Nearly 50 alumni toured the halls of Pendale Middle School, which is the high school from 1956 to 1971, before the new building opened here in Talmensen. The class of 64 were awestruck by the amount of technology and opportunities provided to students, such as music technology and Pendale TV. They have recalled courses no longer offered, such as metal shop and driver training. I wonder which courses you're taking today that will be a thing of the past when each of you return for either your reunion in 1965, 66, and 67. Congratulations to the 15 North Penn High School students who were chosen by audition for this year's district course. These students will participate in a three-day festival at Abington High School in January, where they will have the opportunity to advance to regional chorus. Fourth grade students at York Avenue Elementary got a lesson in the typography of Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Julie Albert. I'm a fourth grade teacher at York Avenue. And in fourth grade, we learn about uh, the state of Pennsylvania and the geography of Pennsylvania. So we identified the landforms and the mountains and uh, some major cities on the state and the major rivers in Pennsylvania. And first we plotted them on a map so that we could locate them on a paper map. And now um, the students have been making uh, salt dough maps and we labeled the bordering states and they're in the process of actually painting the dough now and I'm hoping that they will be able to identify all of the geographical um, items that we had done on the paper map and they're going to mark them with flags and labels. I'm hoping that this project will give them a hands-on experience um, that they will be able to apply then to a map whenever they look at it by working with the dough and making the mountains um, with their hands and then doing the painting of the mountains and the rivers that they'll, they will be able to identify you know, all of the different geographical features of Pennsylvania anytime they look at a map. Three Penbrook Middle School students were selected as the winners of the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation's School Bus Safety Poster Contest. Juliana Gober placed first in the competition with her poster design, which will be entered in the national competition. Brian Durkin and Ryan Munch received second place and third place. All students received a trophy, gift cards, cash prize, and a tour of the governor's mansion. That's all for this edition of North Penn News. I'm Zach Arsalon. And I'm Alexa Duffy. Just a reminder that it is concert season for MPHS and NPSD middle schools. So come out and watch these winter concerts. If you happen to miss any, MPTV has you covered. Check out our schedule and be sure to watch on MPTV online or mptvmpenn.org. We leave you tonight with a performance from the Pendale 7th grade winter concert.